I cannot stand how the news has been dogging Gen Z and calling them lazy for not wanting to work a nine to five for the rest of their lives. Let me put it in perspective for everybody who's a little confused here, okay? I work five days out of the week, 40 hours a week, okay? I do not make enough to live on my own. I would not make enough to pay rent, water, electric, and eat all by myself. I would not be capable of doing that. 20 years ago when you were getting started, you could live on your own. 20 years ago when you first started, you were able to do everything that I am now struggling to do. Let me add another perspective here. You've been working for 20 years. You have 20 years of working experience behind your belt. You have 20 years of experience in a career that has allowed you to gain raises, to get more money, to profit you in an economy that you created. You can sit here and you can call Gen Z lazy all you want, but I've been working my tail end off just to barely make it by. And respectfully, I don't want to do that for the rest of my life. I don't want to work my tail end off, wasting all of my life working just to barely be able to pay my bills. And that is what you created, not Gen Z. We're just here getting started. You've been doing it for the last 20 years. You tell me how it got ruined. We can sit here and we can call Gen Z lazy all you want, but you let the economy turn into what it did. You let it all run to hell. And now it's Gen Z's fault because we don't want to work to fix your mistakes. Okay. So let me first tell you, young lady, whoever you are, I don't care how old you are. I don't care if you just is your first job or if it's your 30th. 20 years ago, well, for me, for me, it was closer to 35, almost 40 years ago. Um, we were in the same boat at the exact same time in our lives. Um, a lot of times, you know, we, I, I couldn't live on my own when I was your age. Most, most people, in fact, probably the vast majority of people in this country could not live on their own at your age, even back then. Because there's this little thing called inflation that you don't realize always goes up. The cost of living always goes up every year. And it doesn't matter what your age is. Um, when I do it, when I first started working, I was making five bucks an hour for, if that, that was 1987, 88. And I couldn't afford to live on my own. Um, even when I got into doing management for fast food retail, I still couldn't afford to live on my own. Um, my then fiance, we lived together and we were both managers in fast food and we still barely afforded the house. We got lucky in that the car, both, both vehicles, mine and hers were paid for by our parents. Um, but we, you know, the house payment was $412 a month and we couldn't afford that and electricity and gas and food. We got lucky that we worked at a fast food joint and we could eat for free. There was a lot of times that we would go, we would, we would literally spend every penny on the house gas, food, and there would be literally nothing left. We couldn't even afford to go to Blockbuster on a weekend type thing. So this ain't new, you dumb little blonde. Um, you need to grow up and welcome to adulthood because adulting sucks. The only thing you can do is find another job that pays more. It probably won't be something that you want. Um, I would suggest not going into college because college is a scam. 
and all they do is take your money and put you in debt for the rest of your life. Um, do a trade school, do something like that, and you can earn probably twice as much out of trade school than what you would out of college. Um, it's not our fault. It, in a way, it is our fault, I guess. But you know what? It's part of living in this screwed up idiocracy that we live in because we bend the rules and change the rules to try to placate everybody instead of keeping the playing field level and letting everybody do what they do best. We try to mold everybody socially into these dumb little worlds that doesn't make sense. Just let people be people and go find a job that actually pays you money and doesn't suck up all of your time. I, I, I got into driving a truck because that was my dream. I wanted to drive a truck and I drove a truck for 27 years. The vast majority of it, I lived in that truck for probably the first 15 years of it, maybe almost 20. I didn't have a home. My home was a truck. And I made a ton of money. And I blew a ton of money. <laughs> and when I finally did settle down and got married to my third wife, because living on the road and, and being married sucks, um, I married her my last wife that I will ever marry is been almost 21 years now. And it's been totally awesome. And she's had, you know, in the beginning, she didn't have a job. She got a couple of part-time jobs and now she's got a job because I can't drive anymore but I still am employed. I am employed doing office work. I work right here in front of the computer talking to 150 drivers every day. Um, I still work, even though I can't drive, I still work pushing 60, 70 hours a week. And I'm 53 years old, about to be 54. And, uh, yeah, you ain't going to live on your own only making 40 bucks or 40 hours a week. You couldn't do it back then. You can't do it now. So either whoever prepared you for life didn't do their job. You are not ready. So suck it up, buttercup. It doesn't get any easier. Oh, and there's this little thing called taxes. Yeah, you're going to hate those. <laughs>